So it is four in the morning and we are headed to Chicago to go listen in on some of the biggest day trading news to come out in a very long time and to go see the city, first time going. So we're gonna hop on a plane right now, go ahead to Chicago and check out the news. All right, so we just landed in the Home Alone Airport. Very patriotic, gotta love Chicago. So right now we're actually going to day trading news. So we flew out this morning. We're gonna fly back tonight, but we gotta kill three hours because it's nine o'clock right now. We're meeting up at noon and then we'll go from there. All right, so I'm currently on the Chicago Board of Trades trading floor. You can see the screens behind me. I'm about to learn how to do the open outcry system. This is what they did before there was electronic trading. After that, Michael from Top Step, he's the CEO and the founder, is actually going to be dropping a huge announcement here on the channel. And then we're actually gonna go upstairs to the risk management department and actually learn from the risk management department and Michael himself on how to become a better trader. All right, so we're standing on the floor. Tell me about like what it was like back in the day, um, where everything was located, how it worked. Well, for one, we would barely be able to hear each other because it'd be so, so literally people screaming. When you come into a trading pit, you stand in the exact same spot every single time. The trading pits are octagon shaped. So if I'm standing right here, I would look at that wall board. If I'm standing right here, I would look at that wall board. And as traders, just think about your quote boards. Your quote boards have all the different products that they're trading. Right there, you'll see corn, you'll see soybeans, you'll see wheat, you'll see Kansas City wheat, you'll see the prices. So that's where everybody would get their quotes. Now we get it on our screens. Now when I'm looking at Matt, if I wanted to buy 150 in the, in the trading world, you, this is 100. Anything down here is a multiple of 100. Anything right here is a multiple of one, and this is a multiple of 10. So basically if I wanted to buy 150, I would go 150. And I want to buy them so my hands are facing in here. So I want to buy 250, I go Matt, I'll buy 250. So that's what you do. So you look across somebody else and go, hey Matt, I'll buy 450. And then he would go, I sold you 450. So what I would basically do is I'd go over here and uh, trades by Matt. I sold you 50 to TBM. And what was your price? So let's go X, Y, Z. You said price of 30. So I sold you 50 at 30. I would go like this. I'd hand this back to the clerk back there who would then run over to your clerk and then go, Michael just sold you uh, 50. And you go, yeah, I just bought 50. Check, check. The runner would go all the way to the trade desk. Put it at the trade desk and it'd be taken to the taken to the clearing firm, which knows they have my trading account. They know what's in my trading account. And they go, oh, Michael has, they just punch it in. They go, Michael's short 50. Well, Michael doesn't have that much in his trading account to be short 50. So all that now just happens in split seconds. So that's how you would arm and you would do it from a distance and it was organized chaos, but it was very efficient at the time. You'd actually leave the pits to go check the Bloomberg terminals with charts. you print off the charts, you'd have them here and be like, oh, we're coming down, oh, I have a support line here, and then I'm gonna bid it up. So that's the old way of doing things. And now the new way about it, you have all this information, literally at your fingertips. And just like the same traders on the trading floor had to do, you have to take all the information and decide what to do to be a really good trader. So as you can see, everything changes. This trading floor is totally vacant nowadays. We're wearing these goofy jackets that we don't need anymore because now we just get to sit at home and trade. And that's because things change over time for the better. And one of those things that changes over time for the better is actually being announced right now. Just like we dropped the jackets, Top Step is dropping two steps to one step and all of our rules down to one rule. So we're announcing one step one rule to earn funding at Top Step. We're super stoked about this, and it's really a faster way to get to funding. It's also still watching your downside. So we're always gonna have the rule, and every trader should have the rule of watching your downside. So that's what that one rule is. Don't bury your trading account. We all need to be conscious of our downside. So one step, one rule, to earn funding here at Top Step. If you don't know what Top Step is, it's actually a company that funds day traders. What that means is that the trader passes an evaluation and Top Step gives you money to trade with. Now they take on the downside risk, so if you lose money, you're not actually losing money. And if you make money, you get to keep 90% of the profits that you make. They take 10% because of that downside risk. Now, if you're interested in going through an evaluation or learning more, go ahead and go down to the description. It's the first link down there. It'll send you to their website and it'll also give you 20% off your first month.
All right, so we are on the top step risk management floor. We're gonna go talk with Mick. His whole job is to make sure that traders are doing the right thing at the right time. Is there anything that you think after watching, I don't know, a couple hundred, maybe a few thousand, maybe lots of thousands of traders that you think would be helpful for, you know, just your average Joe who's watching the video right now? I think the largest mistake many traders make is over leveraging, trying to trade too many contracts too early on. You know, there's a lot of people that have made lots and lots of money at only to over the years made lots and lots of money only to have one or two bad situations market environments that can completely wipe out years and years of hard work so easy to be you're in it for the day the market's up one or two percent on the day you're going in you're playing hard but you forget that it's a never-ending game. Like we're not in the business to make money this week, we're in the business to make money in five years. Right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when you're day trading, you put your heart and soul into the day, but a lot of times people get caught off guard and they miss the forest while they're staring at the trees. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so really think about longevity, little patience and spreading things out is, is really the way to go. Ah, be smart, be patient. People always ask, me and other people about like outliers, right? Everybody wants to know your biggest day, uh -huh. your worst day, any big winning, any big losing days, I guess is a better question. No, what's your biggest I, I was I was gonna say, I, no trader has any business losing more than they can make on average, on an average winning day. You know, I'm saying that now years down the road, right. but I did have a day that, you know, my biggest losing day lost a little over 16 grand. So I broke my rule of trading more size than I should have. And then I also, I was doing market making, so I wanted to, you know, buy it at one, to sell it at two, and if I couldn't sell it at two, you know, scratch the ones. And I got flipped on the trade, and they kept pushing the spread uh, in on me, and basically I had more than I've ever had on before, and I took a bigger loss that, that was bigger than any of my winning days. Yeah, were you sweaty? <laughs> oh, yeah. It was, it <laughs> seemed like it took forever, but I think it was a matter of like 20 minutes oh, that they pushed the yeah. spread against me. And you know, know exactly what not to do, and you still did it. And I still did it, which is something that I hear from so many traders. You know, I know better, but I can't help myself. And people, people underestimate how disciplined you have to be in this business. Oh There's a difference between yeah. doing what you want to do and doing what you should be doing. Yeah, my biggest day, I got a, uh, I was long 150 uh, bigs. Uh, so that's 200 and whatever, well, 300 actually, uh, contracts. So uh, that was a $33,000 day. Yeah, that's good. And that was during a day where the markets were absolutely wild and the markets were, uh, the bid offer spread was so, so crazy. You, right. you see where it gets thin, oh, it gets yeah. whippy. Oh, yeah. And the trading pits, they just widen up. Instead of the whippiness doing it, they'd be like, 13,300 at 13,400 instead of 13,331. Oh yeah. yeah, so let's go really wide. So my biggest and best day was, was that day. I took all my buddies out for drinks that evening. And uh, I'm very proud that my biggest and best day was better than uh, my losing day. My lose, biggest losing day was like 12 grand. Well, and that's why I love like what we have going on right here because when I'm trading my own personal account, like I don't have anybody over my shoulder except for my wife thank you if i get tilted like i can get tilted bad well when i trade on tilt the, the best thing for me is a daily loss on it because yeah. there's days where you clearly don't have it there's right. days where the opportunity and what you're used to seeing isn't even there the market volatility change the market state condition whatever you want to call it change so for me having a daily loss limit when i'm out of tune that stops me for the day and it tells me to get the hell out of here and right. go take a break. Yeah, love it. All right, so that is our tour of the inside of the Chicago Board of Trading floor and the massive announcements. If you're interested in more of that, it's obviously linked down below. It's the first link in the description. So go check that out and go get funded.